Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In tonight's live stream, I'll be opening up four different Pokemon card tins. So this is somewhat of a random opening. Unfortunately, I have not been able to get a ton of stuff lately in retail stores, but I have been able to find a few things there. So there's some positives and some negatives to retail stores and the limits they put in place. But in tonight's live stream, four different tins, including a Shining Fates tin, six packs there, the Eevee and Snorlax GX tin, which includes one Evolutions pack, and then a couple of older tins here, the Cinderace V tin, as well as the Zamazenta V tin. And these two tins I actually purchased way back in May of last year when I decided to return to YouTube again. So these two tins I purchased as part of that $1,000 order that I put in through collector's cash. So thank you everyone for watching this live stream. Before I get too far into it, a couple of announcements that I would like to make. First off, if you have not already, make sure you subscribe to my channel and leave a like. Leaving a like is the best way for my videos to be found in search results. Some exciting news. I have decided to create an eBay store, Primetime Pokemon, and you can find a link to my eBay in the description of this video. Of course, Carla is expecting a new baby in October, so of course babies are expensive and trying to sell some of my Pokemon cards to jumpstart the expenses that a baby will come with, including lots of doctor's visits. So if you'd like to support me personally or just like to find some good deals on Pokemon cards, certainly check out my eBay and I will try and list new cards on there about every single day. I have about 20 more cards that I will be listing tonight or tomorrow. All of those listings are buy it now, but I am eligible for offers and I, I will be willing to negotiate a little bit with you. And then, of course, this is the weekend. May 1st, we actually went to a 3D slash 4D ultrasound and determined the gender. Now, the nurse there, the owner of that studio, actually said that it was very easy to determine the gender of our baby, boy or girl. And there's a look at our little baby right there, due October 17th. But the way that Carla's decided to do it is she's having her sister do the gender reveal, and she's in college right now. So a couple of weeks from now, we will be finding out if it's a boy or girl. And certainly, I'll try and share that information with you guys on YouTube in some fashion. Carla thinks it's a boy right now, and I think Carla is definitely glowing. So if there's a good way to figure out if you're having a boy or a girl by if the mother is glowing, let me know. But certainly a healthy baby is the most important thing. I'd probably like a boy just because I'm more familiar with the male, of course. Carla really would like a girl. I'm perfectly fine with either. So, I'll start opening up some of these cards, and I better check the live chat just to make sure. And I see that Carla is in the live chat. Thank you for watching. Hopefully I'm not muted. So there you see, lots actually on time. Yes, I was on time for this live stream. Now I will save these Shining Face and Eevee and Snorlax GX tins until the end. I will start off with this Cinderace V tin. So I'll switch to the appropriate camera angle. I have my gold watch on for some luck. Carla thinks this look, looks like a lady's watch, but I would disagree. Cinderace V. Flip it over here. You can see you get five booster packs on the inside. One of three foil Pokemon V cards. And Rillaboom, Cinderace, or Inteleon. And then an online TCG code card. I do have my box cutter handy. I am wearing my Timberwolves t-shirt, which my mother-in-law actually got me for this past Christmas. Timberwolves, the worst franchise in any major sport. They actually had a three-game winning streak going on. So there is the Cinderace V10. Would love to pull a Cinderace from Shiny Face a little bit later on. Oh, I thought that was Evolutions, but there is the Evolutions. I'll open this up, show the 
promo card and then the online TCG code card. And I know that place that we went to for the 3D slash 4D ultrasound for our baby, they gave us a deal if we were to come back. I think anytime before the baby is born. So the Cinderace VSWSH015 would be the card number. The online TCG code card, and I will give this away. There you go. This is one of the Galler Partners tins. And then the five booster packs on the inside. Some good ones, that is for sure. Two Sword and Shield base set, which must have been the best set at the time. Or the newest set, rather. Cosmic Eclipse. I'm a big fan of that set. Same goes to Burning Shadows and Evolutions. I'll jump on back to the live chat just to make sure I'm interacting with everyone. And another reminder, too, I do have a break going on right now. A Shining Face break. 36 booster packs. One winner takes all. $13 per spot to enter. You can enter via PayPal, RyanMajeski at msn.com. You can find that in the description of this video as well. So two great ways to support the channel, the breaks, as well as my personal eBay primetime Pokemon. Both of those in the description of this video. So I'll scroll down a little bit. Gavin Abrams, you're awesome dude. Been a while since I watched you, but keep it up. Don't let no one get you down. Well, welcome back. Thank you for watching. So I'll start with the Sword and Shield base set pack. This was the first set released after I decided to retire from YouTube. Such a hard decision. It was the right one at the time. And I am happy to be back on YouTube with a little bit lighter schedule. This was the first set to include Pokemon V. 4 and 2 for the card trick. So from any of these products that I'm opening up, Charizard is always the hope, if it's possible. Goldeen starts this one, Yamper, Scorpy, Clobopus, Wooloo, Metal-type Energy, Bead, Raboot, Rare Candy, a card that I used all the time when I first started playing competitively to go from Basic to Stage 2, Reverse all of a Vulpix, a Common, Rare here would be a Lantern. And in the search of selling some of my collection i know i have a lot of heart gold soul silver cards in my collection just bulk out there somewhere i'll have to search and find those the energy cards with the pokemon in the background are somewhat valuable so let's see here second pack and no problem at all two green colored code cards burning shadows actually the Three next packs, certainly hoping for the better pulls. Minchino starts this one. Vulpix. Muna. Roselia. Choodle. Psychic type energy. Aurora energy, an interesting special energy here, similar to Rainbow energy. Ferrothorn. Crushing Hammer, a great way to discard an energy from your opponent's Pokemon. Hoot Hoot would be the reverse Solid Common. And then Ninetales would be the rare. Okay. On to a little bit better set now in Cosmic Eclipse. This is a set that has the alternate art cards in it. Of course, alternate art cards in battle style. Some of the most valuable cards. Let's see what happens here. Phantom starts this one. Alolan Grimer. Magnemite. Eevee. Flubbabe. Water type energy. Ambipom. Lana's Fishing Rod. Vaporeon. Reverse Solo of a Rockruff, just a common. Final card would be a Mag Cargo. Another card that is disruptive and stomp off the attack on this card. Discard the top two cards of your opponent's deck. So nothing so far. This will be a little bit shorter. Live stream. Now Burning Shadows. I was lucky enough to pull the Charizard GX Rainbow Rare from it. Somewhat recently in one of my videos. Such a great pull. That is the card I'm hoping for here. 
Let's see, four and then two. Hoping for that rainbow rare. That is for sure. Esper starts the pack. Duskull. Oddish. Mudbray. Sock. Darkness type energy. Whirlipede. Guzma. This card was so good in the standard format. Switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon. If you do, switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. Rabombi, another card that has a good ability on it. Reverse Hollow of a Hoot Hoot, a Common. Rare here, a Lycanroc. This is a rare Hollow, so at least I won't be shut out in tin number one of the four. A rare Hollow pull. Look at that full moon back there. It really does stand out. Let's see if you can see that Hall Foil pattern a little bit more. Not much. So I'll summarize, of course, all of my good pulls at the end of each. 10. So now we have a Mega Blastoise cover artwork design pack for XY Evolutions, the final XY series set. For a long time, you could not give these packs away. That's how much they were not wanted. Nowadays, it is a very valuable pack. Card trick is three and then two, of course. Charizard, the rare holo, and the rare reverse holo, the cards I'd like to pull most. Dream pack here would be Rare Reverse Hollow into Rare Hollow of Charizard. Welcome to the live chat, Pedro. Sentai Fan 45 is in the house in the live chat. Vulpix starts this one. Sandshrew, Onyx, Magikarp, one of the most powerful Pokemon out there with its flail attack. Fighting type energy, Nidorino, Pidgeot Spirit Link, Porygon, one of my favorite looking Cards from base set and, of course, evolutions. Reverse solo of a nice, a Zapdos. Beautiful looking card right here. And I do have some graded Pokemon cards for sale as well. Certainly email me, ptpbiz at yahoo.com if you're interested. Final card. Thank you very much. Every single time I show a picture of my baby or talk about my baby, it brings me excellent luck. So look at that. Charizard Rare Hollow. That is a dab right there. Excellent luck for me. It was well worth opening this tin. Charizard Rare Hollow. Right now it's worth about $100. But of course, Charizard from base set, one of the best cards and most collectible cards of all time. A pretty centered card as well. Who knows, this might be going up on my personal eBay, but that is a great pull right there. A great pack overall. Can't beat that rare reverse holo into a rare holo. Let's go, let's do it. Hopefully these pulls will continue. So here are the best pulls from this tin, the Zapdos, I actually personally like the rare reverse hollows better than the rare hollows just because they are harder to pull they are worth less though the charizard rare hollow lycanroc rare hollow and then the cinderace v the black star promo certainly hoping to continue these pulls in the next three tens and thank you for all of the Congratulations in the live chat. A couple of reminders before I get to the next tin opening. Number one would be that I have started an eBay store, Primetime Pokemon. You can find a link in the description of this video if you would like to purchase some cards directly from me. And then I do have a break going on for Shining Face, 36 booster pack break, one winner takes all. A great way to support my channel. Ryan Majeski at MSN.com via PayPal to enter, $13 per spot. Right now, as I'm recording this live stream, 16 spots available. You can certainly buy all 16 spots if you would like. If you wanna know how breaks work on my channel, I've done several in the past that you can check out. So, let's get to the next tin here, the Zamazenta V tin. Flip it over, five booster packs on the inside of this one as well, hoping, just as good of sets and i know the ev and snorlax gx tin has evolutions on the inside so there would be the tin without the plastic wrap on it open it up here i see rebel clash i think there's an evolutions there though and evolutions like i mentioned for a long time 
actually at a GameStop clearance sale where I got most of the products that are back here. I actually got, I think the check lane blister packs, probably 50 of them for 99 cents a piece. Now, if I would have kept those sealed, you're looking at probably $10 a piece right now for those check lane blister packs. All right. So here would be the Black Star promo Zamazenta VSWSH019. The online TCG code card, Legends of Galartan. I have opened up the Zashian one previously on my channel. And then the five booster packs, two Rebel Clash, the newest set at the time. Sword and Shield base set, Burning Shadows again, and Evolutions. I'll open up these packs, newest to oldest. Head back over to the live chat. Rebel Clash is probably the worst sword and shield set in my opinion. Boss's order is very good. Is there a frost moth secret rare in this set as well? So for a pack like this, I flip it over. No problem at all seeing that green colored code card. Let's see what happens in this pack. As a competitive player, hoping for something good in that reverse hollow slot. Helioptile starts the pack. Hone Edge, Litwick, Galarian Corsola, Binacle, Metal Type Energy, Scoop Up Net. This is a very competitive card. Put one of your Pokemon that isn't a Pokemon V or a GX into your hand. I use this with Galarian Zigzagoon in my Eternatus VMAX deck. Chat Out, Charger Bug, Reverse Solo of a Masquerade, which is an uncommon. Final card, a Garbodor. And when I first got into the competitive scene, Garbodor was very good. There was one that turned off the abilities, I believe, of your opponent's Pokemon. And then there was another one that did more damage for the more tool cards in your discard pile. Good trying to stay awake for Carla. That is... My wife in the live chat, Primetime Pokemon's wife, Carla with a K, for those wondering. All right, Rillaboom VMAX on this Rebel Clash pack. Carla was lucky enough to pull the gold color Frost Moth in a live stream. Of course, Carla's pregnant right now, and she's having lots of, I would say, emotions, and she's having some trouble getting up and down all the time, so she stays upstairs for the most part. Did make an appearance last week in the live stream at the very end. I was happy to see her. Hone Age starts this pack. Temple, Vullaby, Galarian Corsola, Toxel, an evil looking Toxel, or should I say a toxic looking Toxel, Psychic Type Energy, Pelipper, Palosand, Milo, Reverse Solo of a Voltorb, just a common. Rare here would be a Galarian Darmanitan. Certainly hoping for better pulls when it comes to Burning Shadows or Evolutions. And Carla is feeling better for the most part. Like today, we went to a couple of greenhouses in town and picked out some flowers and then planted those. We have three planter boxes in the front of our house and then sort of a, a big clay pot that we put three flowers in. And then she also purchased a tomato plant. So she's going to try her hand at growing tomatoes. And then yesterday, like I said, we went to the ultrasound to figure out the gender of our baby and then we had a pretty good time there we went to olive garden carla's favorite restaurant and then for supper we went to panda express first time carla or i had ever been there we just had that to go and then we sat at a park with some animals and ate clobopus starts this one sword and shield base set wooloo sobble pinchurchin blitbug fighting type energy Ride on, Eldegoss, Air Balloon, a pretty good tool card. The retreat cost of the Pokemon this card is attached to is two colorless energy less. Reverse all of a Pinchurchin, which is available, I believe, as a shiny Pokemon in Shining Face. That's upcoming. And then Mudsdale would be the rare. So certainly hoping for some good pulls from these final two packs, Burning Shadows and Evolutions. Have not seen a white colored code card yet. Of course, Charizard GX Rainbow Rare is the card I'm hoping for here. I see there's a question in the live chat. And thanks, everyone, for interacting with me live. And look at that. 
Is this going to be a Charizard? I certainly hope so. The chances very, very slim, but it certainly could happen. Just going to make sure it seems like I was going to say those two cards are sticking together. Question in the live chat. What's your favorite XY series set? Evolutions I'm a big fan of. Competitively, it isn't that great. I know a lot of people like Flashfire because of Charizard. DNC is wondering when this is filmed. This is live. Alolan Rattata starts the Burning Shadows pack. Mudbray. Magikarp. Panseer. Krogunk. Fighting type energy. Curlia. Olivia. Just going to list a full art Olivia on my eBay. Kiawe. Very good for fire type Pokemon. Reverse follow of a Rhydon. An uncommon. Rare here would be a Noivern GX. And this would be a GX full art. Back when Burning Shadows was brand new, I seemed to pull this Pokemon in Rainbow Rare several times. Always on the hunt for that Charizard. Saw that glimmer of the Rainbow Rare. Noivern, I think four or five times. But I'll take that. I love the full art cards. As a collector, the textured full art. Very cool. All right, final pack here. Another Mega Blastoise on the Evolutions booster pack. And then on to the Eevee and Snorlax GX tin, followed by the Shining Fates tin. So I'm not going to look at that code card. Dream pack, like I said, Charizard, Charizard. The Ultra Rares and Evolutions do have a touch of gold to them. All righty. Question in the live chat as well from JR Pokemon. Is the product behind you opened or sealed? And I would say it's about 50-50. Metal type energy starts the evolutions pack. Growlithe. Ghastly. Charmander. Rattata. Metapod. Professor Oak's Hint. Coughing. Reverse Hall of an Onyx. Just a common. Hoping for a rare haul or better. Can you believe that? Both tins, Evolutions Pack, Charizard Hollow. I can tell you right here that this brings me some very good luck. The Easter opening finally pulled the Charizard V from Champion's Path. Now this one, two rare Hollow Charizard cards. Of course, this one, not as centered as the first one but no problem at all that's a dab and that's a dab for the first charizard that is some great pulls right there and thank you baby for some very good pulls so there would be the two cards from this tin hopefully the good luck will continue now i do have the eevee and snorlax gx tin to open up now and just sort of a hint on what's upcoming this week i will be opening up two of these more than likely this week i'll be opening up some shining fates products as well so certainly happy with the polls so again a reminder if you have not already since this is a live stream make sure to smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you have not already and then if you would like to support the channel even more lots of ways to do that and you can find all of those ways in the description of this video. I have started an eBay store, Primetime Pokemon, and then I do have a break going on right now for Shining Fates, $13 per spot. You can enter via PayPal, RyanMajewski at MSN.com. So let's get this tin opened up. I know there's an Evolutions pack inside this one. Can we make it three for three with Evolutions? I highly, highly doubt it, but let's take a look here. So you do get only four booster packs on the inside. This one I actually did purchase somewhat recently from Walmart. I would say less than a year, so probably three or four months ago, back in the toy section at my local Walmart. Really like the Eevee and Snorlax GX, just the alternate art look. Those would be the three, of course, Pikachu and Zekrom GX. Very good competitive-wise. So I'll take this cover off very carefully. Boy, oh boy, it is a tough one. So bear with me here. It means something's good on the inside, that is for sure. Plus this one does come with a metallic marker. Now one reason I like this tin very well, Team Up. There are some very good cards in Team Up. Lots of alternate art cards as well. I believe the Latios and Latius alternate art is in the 
set, and that is a very valuable card. If only Valentine's Day was coming up because that is sort of a card that I think a lot of men buy for their partners just because it has a heart on the card. So let's jump back into the live chat. I see a donation coming in from Jose Diaz, $9.99. Thank you very much. Greatly, greatly appreciated. So here would be the metal GX marker. Of course, in the standard format, you can wave goodbye to tag team Pokemon. The Eevee and Snorlax GX SM169. This is a textured full art. Set that one aside. So many good pulls so far. Can't beat the Charizard. Here is the code card for the tin. I see someone was wondering about codes in the live chat. Four booster packs on the inside. A little bit different with Forbidden Light, but two team up. A Forbidden Light. Disappointingly, Charizard on the Evolutions pack. I'll open up Forbidden Light first. There would be the cover artwork design on the pack. Greninja, I believe, is available in the set. Four and then two. There's really not any special edition. There's a question in the live chat. Is there multiple print editions for evolutions, like a first, a base, or a base set, a first edition, or a shadowless, or anything like that? There has not been first edition Pokemon cards since Wizards of the Coast stopped printing Pokemon cards, so it's been a long time. Esper starts this pack. Forbidden Light, Honage, Noibat, Gibble. Forbidden Light and Ultra Prism, similar sets like Gibble, I believe is a Dragon type Pokemon in Ultra Prism, Fighting type here. Execute, Lightning type Energy, Go Goat, Unidentified Fossil, Mesprit, Reverse Solo, a Heatran, this is a great pull, a rare Reverse Solo. Final card would be a B String, nice. This is a very good card. I actually had a lot of fun playing with cards from this set. Like, I believe, Malamars from the set, Naganadal, there is an Ultra Necrozma. B-String here, you can play this card only if your opponent has exactly three or four prize cards remaining. Search your deck for up to two basic energy cards and attach them to one of your Ultra Beasts. Then shuffle your deck. Buzzwool GX, one of my favorite decks of all time. This card was used with that one. So I'm actually going to set that B-String aside. It is a rare non hollow. I do not think the Pokemon Company International will ever do first edition again. On to two team up booster packs now. Really? Kanto boxes are getting reprinted this month at Walmart. Good luck everyone. And my local Walmart is limiting everyone to two items. So I'm sure they will get um, purchased immediately. Squirtle starts this one, Tentacool, Grimer, Pidgey, Dratini, Fighting Type Energy, Cosmoem, Hitmonchan, Jasmine, Reverse Solo, a Bronze or a Common, Rare here, a Pinsir. So it might come down to that final pack in the tin, in this case, Evolutions, and then hoping for a white colored code card. Pikachu and Zekrom on the cover artwork design of this pack. Any form of Pikachu and Zekrom GX, very valuable. It was a little bit tough when Zero Aura GX rotated out for lightning type decks with something like Tapu Koko, Prism Star, or Bolton V, helps them out quite a bit. All right. Second team up booster pack starts with Voltorb, Squirtle, Bronzor, Klefki, Pidgey, Fairy type Energy, Toracat, Kabuto, Nidorino, Reverse Solo, a Dangerous Drill, an Uncommon, Rare here would be a Tag Team GX in Celebi and Venusaur. So all three tins that I've opened up so far. I haven't been shut in, out in at all. Of course, pulling two Charizard rare holes from Evolutions. No complaints right there. But Celebi and Venusaur GX, not a terrible card overall. And I believe you can use it with, is it Shaman? There is a grass type Pokemon out there that has an ability that 
heals damage. So you just put those on your bench and then heal a ton of damage at once from this card. So I'll set that one aside and then on to evolutions. I see a couple of people want me to show code. So I'll show an evolutions code card here. Mega Charizard Y on the cover artwork design. I'm not going to look at the code card. So I'm actually going to show the code card after. So I'll set this aside. I don't want to see it. Three and then two. How about three for three with Charizard? And it was nice. I touched on this in the open that we went out of town about an hour away from where we live and I went to Target, Walmart, Barnes and Noble. Was that it? I think so. So Target had some Pokemon cards in stock. They have a limit of one. Barnes and Noble has some Pokemon cards in stock. They also have a limit of one. And then Walmart of course had nothing because that Walmart does not have a limit but it is nice that more people can get products. I know Target specifically just had individual booster packs so final pack here pikachu starts it growlith machop nidoran ponyta pokedex haunter energy retrieval reverse solo of a voltorb a common rare here is the charizard it is a rare hollow though in a chancy so no complaints there three for three from the three evolutions booster packs and then i will give away the code card here there it is so three cards to summarize in this tin and then on to the newest tin in shining fates that will be very interesting if they are reprinting those kanto power collections right is that what they're called i believe so that just shows that there's lots of evolutions booster packs out there still so from this 10, Eevee and Snorlax GX, Heatran a Rare Reverse Hollow, Rare Hollow and Chansey, and then a Celebi and Venusaur GX. So again, one more time before I open up the Bolton V10, and this was a tin that I finally was able to actually get from Walmart because of my limit of two at my local Walmart. I was able to purchase two of these tins for Shining Fates. So again, a reminder, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already and leave a like. Likes is the easiest thing that will help get my videos found in search results. So two important things. Number one, I have started an eBay store, Primetime Pokemon. You can find a link to that in the description of this video if you want to purchase some cards from me. And more than likely, one of the Charizard cards that I pulled this evening will be going up on my store in the next day or two. And then I do have a break going on for 36 booster packs of Shining Face, $13 per spot to enter. You can enter via PayPal, ryanmajeski at msn.com. So on to the final tin opening. And I would like to thank everyone for joining me live. I hope everyone's having a very good time. I know next weekend is Mother's Day. This will be Carla's last year without actually being a mother. I guess she's a mother-to-be, right? So this would be the Bolton V10, $29.99 from Walmart. If you flip it over, you can see one of three, Eldegoss, Bolton, and Cramorant. I would say I like Bolton best. You do get six booster packs on the inside, so I'm really hoping for two Shiny Bolt subset cards. Jose already saved me as a seller on eBay. I have a big two feedback right now i think i've sold 14 things since last week when i started my ebay so i'm i'm always asking whenever i sell a card and they get it in the mail to please leave feedback to help my channel or my store out a little bit so here would be the six booster packs hoping for of course the shiny charizard v max six booster packs on the inside and then the Bolton V. I'm actually going to actually leave it in the... No, I won't leave it in there. I'll give away the code card for you guys as well. I do have a big mess on the floor I need to clean up. Carla has only been down here once in the last month or two. and It is not a pretty sight. Let's go to the opening view. Jump back to the live chat. Check it out. Okay, Bolton V, the Black Star promo, SWSH085. 
This card's Electrify Attack, very good. Search your deck for up to two Lightning Energy cards and attach them to your Bench Pokemon in any way you like. And use this in combination with Full Blitz on Pikachu and Zekrom GX. And you, ex you can accelerate lots of Lightning Energy into play very quickly. And then the Online TCG Code card, there you go. Six Shining Fates Booster Packs. Of course, this is a special expansion. So you have to buy products like this tin to get these packs now hopefully my baby will bring me some very good luck like i said carla and i went to a 3d and a 4d ultrasound this weekend and the gender was identified we don't know if it's a boy or a girl because carla wanted to have her sister do a gender reveal so the lady that owned the place we went to baby source photos she sealed up the gender in an envelope and then we're going to send it to Carla's sister so she'll be the first one to know 50 50 chance but always hoping for a healthy baby girl or boy okay six packs of shining face probably my most wanted card outside of the shiny charizard vmax skyla full art one of eight full art cards in the set i have not pulled the skyla yet let's see what happens the Shiny Vault subset cards do come in the reverse hollow slot of the pack. And Cairo wants to know what type of watch I have. So I know most people don't care, but I'll show my watch a little bit closer. This is a Citizen Echo Drive watch. I got it refurbished off of eBay. So I, it was much cheaper than you would think. And actually, this is a day behind. Is it even working anymore? Yes, it is. Ah, I have not worn this since the month of April ended, so that's why it is a day behind. Only 30 days in April instead of 31. So hopefully I didn't already do the card trick. Let's see what happens. Grookey starts this one. Pack one of six. Buizel. Yanma. Trapinch. Shinx. Lightning type energy. Floatzel. Dartrix, Rotom, Reverse Hall of a Choodle, a Common, Rare here, a Frost Moth, and a very good ability on this card in Ice Dance. As often as you like during your turn, you may attach a Water Energy card from your hand to one of your benched Water Pokemon. So not bad. I won't summarize. Actually, I will summarize the Rare Hollow cards since I've collected from base set when, like you saw in Evolutions, base set the hollow cards were the best cards that you could pull hollow cards do mean a little bit more to me certainly hoping for 150 likes on this video 135 likes right now choodle starts this pack nicket grookey yanma morpeko fighting type energy luxio thwacky Ball Guy, which is available as a full art. Reverse Hall of a Tropius, an uncommon. Rare here would be an all creamy V. And this is a V full art. The one and only V full art from the base part of Shining Fates. 73 cards in the base part, 122 cards in the Shiny Vault subset. I'm still on the hunt to pull a Shiny Vault subset card from this tin. Alrighty, Shiny Dragapult V Max pack now. Let's see what happens. And what was it? Saturday after we got back to town, mowed my lawn for the first time here in Minnesota. All right, Spinarak starts the pack. Snom, Grookey, Eevee, Morpeko, Psychic Type Energy, Gym Trainer, Floatzel, Rusted Sword, Reverse Hollow of that same Rusted Sword. The hunt for the Shiny Vault subset cards continue. Final card would be a more Paco V. One of eight different Pokemon V available in this set. Delmai, Cinderace, Morpeko, Indeedee, Crobat, Ditto, Greedon, and Cramorant. So far, pretty good pulls from that final spot. Certainly, I'll give away this code card. I see another request for a code card in the live chat so good luck 
Nico Gaming 24 just got the shiny Charmander. Congrats. Four and then two, and I didn't even show the code card. Here you go. Here's the code card. White colored code cards in each and every pack. TCGO after the Pokemon.com URL. Still awaiting that first shiny vault subset pull. Horsey starts the pack. Kufant. Choodle. Yanma. Morpeko. Metal type energy. Rusted sword. Eldegoss. Dartrix. Reverse all of a more Peko. Talk about more Peko. More Peko V into this more Peko. I don't think either is worth more than a few dollars. I would say this shiny more Peko is worth more than the more Peko V. Not much difference in color, unfortunately. The shiny form and the regular form. And then Dreadnought would be the final card. So I won't be shut out right there from the pack and it looks like i have reached 152 likes right now another reminder make sure you leave a like on this video if you think it deserves it and if you're watching earlier with two charizard rare hollow pulls from evolutions it is worth it all right second to last pack here and again i have started an ebay if you want to help support the channel or purchase some of the cars that you see in some of my videos that is the place to go You'll find a link to that in the description of this video. Spinarak starts this one. One more pack after this one. Snom. Horsey. Carla is doing a little bit better. Ian's asking in the live chat. Of course, Carla's due with our baby in October. So she's in the second trimester now. She is 16 weeks today. And she is starting to feel a little bit better. Rowlet. More Peko. Water type energy. Luxio, Team Yell Towel, Thwacky, Reverse Hollow of a Snom, two Shiny Vault subset cards in a row, not bad. And the final card would be another Rare Hollow in a Galarian Weezing. So two rares is always nice. I'll set this one aside as well. Four cards, five cards, six cards, quite a few cards to summarize from this tin. Certainly wish me some last pack magic. Would love to pull out a Charizard here. Did pull out a Charizard in the first break that I did for Shining Fates. Colin Renfro won that one. Schmohawk says that he was eyeing the Shiny Charizard V on my eBay store the other day. Didn't pull the trigger on it, but was eyeing it. How about a Shiny Charizard V Max to end the opening? Very happy with the pulls overall, that is for sure. Clash of the Collectors, and I would agree with you. Target stocks at Fridays at 8 a.m. How are kids supposed to get there in time? Well, when the summer comes around, then they can get there, but it's the same for most people that work full-time jobs. 8 o'clock, there's a fair amount of people that are already working by that time. Hopefully, the hope is that when there's these limits put in, in place, these resellers will move on to another hobby, and then you'll be able to find products a little bit easier. Eevee, first card in the last pack, Gossifleur, Choodle, Morpeko, Cacnea, Darkness Type Energy, Thwacky, Cramorant, Rotom, Reverse Hall of a Sinistee, so there would be three baby shinies out of the last three packs, not bad, and the final card would be a Celebi. So what a great live stream overall. I can summarize my polls from this tin, chat a little bit with you guys in the live stream, the live chat, and then move on to this upcoming week's videos. As far as this week's videos go, I will be opening up two Eevee and Snorlax GX tins, so maybe I'll get lucky with Evolutions again, like I did in this video. And then I think I have some Shining Fates products to open up as well. So let's see if I can organize these very quickly. If only, and it does seem like products are a little bit tougher to pull from this set, the V or VMAX Shiny Vault cards. So from the base of this set, Galarian Weezing, Frostmoth, so two rare hollows, Morpeko V, and then an creamy V full art. Probably my favorite looking pull of the opening. 
And then three Shiny Vault subset cards. Snom, Morpeko, and Sinisty. I would say Morpeko probably my favorite of those three. Just because I don't believe I pulled it in the past. If I have, I've probably only pulled it the one time. So essentially, that will end this live stream. I know Carla, my wife, is in the live chat. She wants me to get her food. She's hungry before she goes to bed, but very happy with the polls this evening. Two Charizard Rare Hollows from Evolutions. One of those Rare Hollows will be going up on my eBay store, Primetime Pokemon. Certainly check that out if you'd like. You'll find a link to that in the description of this video. Let's see. Yes, yeah, Schmohawk, I'll interact with the live chat a little bit. I would agree that most resellers with these limits in place are moving to sports cars first and then Pokemon cars. I know at my local Walmart, there's supposed to be a limit of two, but it's sort of an honor system. And if you're a reseller to begin with, you probably don't care about the rules and you're just going to buy as many products as possible. I think that's what's happening at my local Walmart because products are clear, clearing out pretty much immediately. Tuttle's also crying, like my cat, so I might have to get going very soon. Let's see here. Schmohawk, yep. But like I said, 200 plus viewers right now on this live stream. Thank you very much. It has been very enjoyable returning to YouTube with a lighter schedule overall and just having more fun. I hope you guys enjoy seeing my face on live stream. I know I'm not the best looking guy out there. That's why I didn't have my face on there for a while, but I think it does add something to my videos, just being able to see my expressions as I talk in the videos and pull like in this video two Charizard Rare Hollow. So I certainly made my money back if I was to just sell everything from this opening. And again, I am selling some of my cards from my collection via eBay, Primetime Pokemon. I do have some graded cards available as well. Certainly contact me via YouTube, social media, email, anything. If you're interested, I have a Charizard PSA 9 available, a Blastoise PSA 9, and then some first edition Fossil and Team Rocket cards as well. ptpbiz at yahoo.com would be my email there if you're interested in purchasing some cards from me. But again, thank you everyone for the support. You don't have to support me financially or monetarily or anything like that. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel, leave a like at the most if you want to. If you just want to watch my videos, have some fun, that is certainly acceptable as well. But I wish everyone the best of luck with their openings. I guess even more than that, I wish everyone the best of luck in finding Pokemon cards. And if you do find the cards you want, getting some good pulls from your products like I had in some of these tins from this live stream. But I think I will end the live stream. Thank you everyone for watching. Thank you, Pedro Sentaifan45 for helping moderate in the live chat. I know you were in there for a while. Thank you to my wife, Carla. Primetime Pokemon's wife in the live chat for moderating the whole time. I know she said she was going to fall asleep, but it's 8.09 p.m. right here where we're living, and she's still awake, so I do appreciate her staying awake this entire live stream. But two more videos this coming week, and then next Sunday, Mother's Day. Not exactly sure what I'll stream yet, but that's usually the plan on my channel. Two, maybe three pre-recorded videos during the week, and then Sundays usually are reserved for live streams. So thank you everyone for watching. One more time, make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Thank you for 